Welcome to the School of Advanced Transportation. Uh, if you've probably seen on my website, we've got several other uh, videos that you can watch that are kind of uh, linked onto my site. Well, they give you a little taste of the future, but we've got uh, a School of Advanced Transportation, Step into the Future of Transportation. We actually have a Sea, Air, and Road aircraft on one platform. Introduction to the Sea, Aero. Sea, Air, and Road. It's a concept, research and development, prototype, computer modeling, fluid dynamics, testing, flight test, production, flight training, and future jobs available. Okay, well, let me tell you a little bit about the, the Sierra uh, concept and what and what is what we're building. It's similar to an airboat, but it flies. It's like 96 inches wide, about 23 and a half feet long, about 13 and a half feet high or so. It'll fit on a highway. It uses what's called tubular wings, and the, the back tubular wing comes over the thrust line, and it does vertical takeoff and landings, uh, similar to blowing air over a piece of paper. It does a vertical takeoff. It'll also take off and land uh, on a regular runway. Uh, it'll drive down the road. It'll go three to 500 miles an hour, and it's got a lifting body and uh, ailerons on the body and, and a little canard on the front, a little tubular canard has got what's called a lift canopy on it too and it'll have three ballistic chutes that deploy it'll do um, it'll just sit down with everybody safe inside it'll hold about six people all together pilot plus five and um, it can also rescue people off the side of buildings it could be used for ambulances and uh, rescue uh, there might be some military aspects of it too but uh, I basically designed it for commercial point A to point B transportation where you can get from point A to point B faster than any other form of transportation and you don't have to go from one transportation to another. You don't have to move your baggage or luggage. It's all in one. You pick up that doorway and bring you right to the door. You can go on the side of a mountain. You can go on a water. You can go anywhere in the world um, and it's available. It'll do, like I said, do three to 500 miles an hour. It's like a similar to a box kite that flies. And uh, it's the future of, of transportation. So I'm kind of letting everybody have notice that some of these other th things have aspects of what it is, but they're not quite there. Uh, some of these concepts, they can't go in the water. Uh, some of the concepts uh, can do vertical takeoff and landing, but the technology is, is kind of messed up a little bit. But um, I wanted you to see what's available too, and but I can't show you what it looks like. It's because we're going to be flying them. Actually, we're we're in the process of, of building the machine, and uh, we're going to be actually flying it. Uh, we're not going to be showing many films or videotape. We're actually going to be flying the various machines that we have built. Uh, so you'll be seeing them. It's the jets in time is the time. So if you want to be ready for the, the future. Uh, this is why I created the School of Advanced Transportation. Uh, it allows you to, to have aspect to all these other things too. Uh, I'm also a commercial pilot, uh, CFI flight instructor, uh, airframe mechanic, instrument rated pilot, advanced instrument ground instructor. I also am taking helicopter training to learn vertical takeoff and landing techniques and various things like that in a helicopter. But this is kind of like different the engine in this thing is going to be what's called a ring engine. It's a 150-pound engine, puts out about 1,500 plus horsepower, and counter rotates on itself, so it'll eliminate the torque to the ship. And uh, the the blade is set up similar to an airboat. The the blade stays in that direction, and a wing actually tilts over the thrust line, and, and little ducks come up, divert thrust down to the front, and um, does vertical takeoff and landings. It's going to be pressurized and sealed and uh, it, nothing else can beat it. You could go out to the oil rigs and drop off people. Uh, you can go out to the oil rigs, do three trips out of the oil rigs faster than a helicopter can do one. So I just want to let know everybody that that, that is coming out and, and that I've started a little school that's going to be involved in, in other machine, machines too. Uh, we're going to be training in th those machines also. So have a great day and contact us, us at uh, wbprotime at gmail.com if you want to email me a letter.
and because we're looking for people to kind of fit into this thing but everybody that's been trained in memory is getting ready this photographic memory gets them ready to understand the future and to get out of the past uh, some people are still in, in horse and buggy and they don't let their kids go over the eighth grade you know and then there's other people that are kind of stuck in the 50s or 60s or 70s and they, and they don't want to go any further than that but we're about to hit the future and I want you to be part of it so have a great day bye bye